Hello everyone, this is Wade from Hitech Legion, and this will be an overview of the ASUS GPU tweak software, as well as performance tuning the ASUS uh, GTX 660 Direct CU Top Overclock Edition card. As you can see from the interface on the GPU tweak software, we have five sliders, which adjust our boost clock in megahertz, our voltage in millivolts, our memory clock in megahertz, our fan speed in percentage, and our power target in percentage. All of these work simply by sliding the slider or typing the number that you would like into the box. On the bottom, we have an apply button, a cancel button, and a default button. The default button will automatically put the settings back to factory and save them. Under fan speed, we can set it to auto, manual, or also do a user defined fan profile. Also on the bottom, we have four custom profiles, which you can save any settings you'd like to, as well as a built in power saving profile and gaming profile that can be used. Under live update, we have the ability to check for updates for the GPU tweak software, as well as see our video BIOS version. Under settings, there are many things that we can change, including whether the GPU tweak starts with Windows, the monitor starts with Windows, the skin, whether the tooltips pop up, which tuning settings are dis displayed on the um, first page there, as well as overclocking settings and mouse sensitivity keyboard. Under the live update setting, we can change whether live updates even available and also whether it is an automatic update. If it's running in the background, it'll automatically go out to Asus' site and check to see if there's a new version. Under recording, we can enable the recording feature of GPU tweak and set up the settings we'd like. And under hotkeys, we can change the the hotkeys to whatever we like or, or view what they're currently set to. Under GPU info, we get the pop out of the custom ASUS GPU Z software, which will show us all of the uh, little details of the card that we're, we have in the system. If we go back to tuning and then we click on this monitor button here. We get a pop out that gives us graphs and the max and minimum that the card hit while this was running, as well as um, the numbers themselves down here. As you can see, there are a lot of different uh, bits of information here and this also has the ability to enable a log file so that as you're running a game, this, the monitor can be logging to a file and you can examine that afterwards to see if everything stayed within the range you're looking for. Now let's do some performance tuning on the GTX 660 that's installed into the system. I've already pushed this card up to the max that I could get it to go and I've saved that under Profile 3. So if we click on Profile 3, it'll load the numbers in and automatically save them um, so that, or apply them, so that we don't have to do anything other than that. As you can see, we pushed the offset 110 megahertz on the boost clock to 1194 megahertz, and the memory clock 100 megahertz to 6108, along with the power target up to 110%. The fan speed was left at auto, and the card was easily able to adjust the fan speed as needed to keep the temperature within the specifications. I'm going to leave these graphs up, and I'm going to run 3D Mark 11 in windowed mode so that you can see the graphs change as it runs. takes a little bit for 3D Mark to load all of the graphics into memory 
and into the graphics card memory as well. And as you can see, our numbers on the graphics card graphs are starting to change. So we've maxed out the GPU usage at 100% and our temperature is only sitting at 46 degrees and climbing a little bit. Next, I want to show you Heaven, Unigen's Heaven benchmark. It's a much harder benchmark on the graphics card, and if your overclock is going to fail, most likely it's going to do that on the Heaven benchmark. So, if we set tessellation to normal, anisotropy to 16x, and it'll release into four. Run it in windowed mode. Check the full screen to run it into windowed mode and hit run. Let this load. And you can see that our numbers changed on the graphs of GPU tweak. And we can run the benchmark for the program. Next, I will show you the results of both As of these benchmarks. As you see, our Heaven benchmark completed successfully, giving us results of 56.2 frames per second. That's pretty good considering how hard the Unigen Heaven stresses GPU. For the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com.